Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Dana Kozlov. And I'm Joe Donlin. Welcome to our viewers on TV and those of you watching on our digital streaming network, CBS News Chicago. They stop traffic while they spin around doing donuts. It's a dangerous thrill that seems to be growing every weekend in Chicago. And now the city is looking to crack down on these so-called street racers. CBS 2's Tara Molina is always investigating and joins us live. Tara. Dana and Joe, it's a big, dangerous problem that leaves quite the mess. You can see exactly what happened here this weekend in the intersection behind me. We're at Clinton and Monroe. Now, if passed, this brand new ordinance would give police a new tool to fight all of this. Fire in the streets, massive crowds surrounding dangerous, illegal street shows. Fireworks weaponized, aimed at police officers. The scenes captured in cell phone video posted to the Citizen app this past weekend show street racers and stunt drivers taking over intersections in the West Loop and South Loop neighborhoods. None of the drivers were charged or arrested, but Chicago police responding to a drag racing call on South Canal did arrest a 17 year old seen throwing fireworks at them. He's been charged with felony aggravated assault of a police officer. All of this has happened before across the city, becoming a real issue, an issue aldermen want to give Chicago police a new way to target through this. Just approved by City Council's Committee on Pedestrian and Traffic Safety, if approved by all of City Council, this would allow Chicago police to impound cars like these, whether the driver is there or not. Um, when I introduced this ordinance, I did so at the request of our local police commanders. Alderman Brendan Riley is behind it. He addressed the committee, referring to issues from over the weekend, describing what the city calls drag racing and drifting as figure skating with a car. He said something has to be done here before someone is killed. But I think when people start seeing their vehicles uh, impounded, they're going to realize there are real consequences for this activity. And again, uh, it places our communities at risk. But it's not as simple as impounding a car seen in one of these videos or tracked by police. Per the ordinance, before impounding a car, police are required to mail the car owner a notice of intent to impound. That notice would include a statement of probable cause, police report, description of vehicle, and the date and time of the violation. Then the owner would have the right to contest it. I reached out to Chicago police with questions about what else they're doing right now to target this crime, to nip all of this in the bud. No response to any of those questions today and still no one arrested, no one charged in those incidents from over the weekend. But you know, we'll keep checking in and we'll keep asking. For now, reporting live in the West Loop, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News.